When I left university in 1974, it was very difficult for women to get a job, and the only job you could get was as a secretary. I was lucky because my first job was as a production assistant in a book publisher. My grandfather was a, an immigrant from Latvia, and he came over to the UK at 15, and he was illiterate and on his own. And actually, he remained illiterate for the whole of his life. So I do not come from a, a family full of education. Both my parents left school at 13. There were no books in my home, apart from in my room. And uh, every Saturday, my mother would take me to the library, which would be the high point of my week, when I would borrow as many books as I could. I was CEO of the largest publisher in the UK for 23 years. And so book publishing, finding authors, nurturing authors, um, creating the circumstances where books can change people's lives is really my vocation. What's really excited me about being in publishing, I think of, of all my time, apart from the wonderful books that I've published, are the charities that I've launched, the literacy charities. Um, I've launched um, in 1998, World Book Day, that still exists today in schools. Um, and then 10 years ago, Quick Reads for adult, um, adult emergent readers, people who have some degree of literacy but feel uncomfortable or don't think they are able to read a complete book and so we create books that will not be daunting for them but are still full of excitement and um, uh, ideas and complexity um, and uh, I have to say that that is what I'm most proud of really. When I took over as of CEO of Random House, as it was then, it's now Penguin Random House, was in 1991, both my daughters were very young and I paused maybe for a second to think, will I be able to do this, my work-life balance? And then you just get on with it. You know, it's like having a mountain in front of you and you just think, I've got to climb it. And so I think women of my generation were very focused on the job and we trusted that everything would sort itself out. We spent enough time, we kept a thread, you know, of, 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 of love and attention for our children, but clearly we were not there the whole time. But I think for younger women, they have an image of perfection as a worker, as a manager, as a leader, as a mother, as a partner, as a wife, and I think that is extraordinarily stressful and should be banished. There is no perfection. We all do our best and that's good enough. For many women in the world, it's a lack of education that is a real obstacle. Um, uh, lack of access to opportunity, um, inequality, um, terrible inequality. I mean, even here where we're sitting in London, it's a tough world in which to make your mark and follow your dreams. But nonetheless, that is still my advice.